standing here today that this is truly a Memorial Day Remembrance theme. Why am I here today and why is not, are not some of my fellow soldiers? I'm sure that Harry feels exactly the same way and I will tell you the recognition of our veterans in the state of Rhode Island particularly. He's done an outstanding job doing that. Let me tell you that uh, you know, we sort of reflect on, opposite, on, on emotions that are at opposite end of a spectrum as we celebrate Memorial Day. Uh, on the one hand, we uh, sort of recognize and celebrate the, the rewards that we have gotten, that all of American citizens have gotten through the sacrifices, and the message that has to be conveyed to the youngsters that we currently have in our schools. That message is gonna be put out there by the World War II veterans. Harry Kazarian has been the epitome of the World War II veteran in the United States Marine. Harry Kazarian has gotten that message out. There is no doubt about that. He is one individual who I'm very proud to have been associated with over the last few years. And I will tell you that he served as an honorary chairman this past year of our World War II commemorative uh, uh, activities. He steadfastly has rep- Thank you, General Trudeau. I've asked General Salises and General Trudeau to assist Harry's partner, Hazel, in unveiling the plaque that will formally dedicate this square as the Harry Kazarian Plaza. anniversary of the end of the Second World War that we resume our efforts 
redouble those efforts in any way we can to be sure that we are never again called upon to join in a conflict, in an armed conflict. Standing here with mixed emotions. Yesterday we enjoyed the ceremony in, at the Rhode Island Veterans Cemetery in Exeter, paying tribute to all those men and women who gave the ultimate. Those are the heroes. Those people are the heroes, not us fellows that came back. We have an opportunity, I said this before, we have an opportunity of growing old. Those young men and women did not have an opportunity to get old. So let's not, as the generals mentioned, let's not forget the past. Remember the past. We don't want it to happen again. Whatever, whichever bomb it is or whatever they're doing, let's talk it over, let's not. The same pride, courage, and integrity, and determination to accomplish what was asked of us by our country. Thank you again, Mr. Kazarian, and all the World War II veterans for being exemplary role models. Proud to be a part of today's Mike John Frock, Frocco, Pat Ventriglia, Mary Dignall, and Minnie Holland. And there were others, but we have not received the names. Thank you.
Yeah, that's TV. You gotta move. Don't don't stiffen up. No, I, I don't. <laughs> okay. All right, skim a hammer. Wait, you wanna see Marilyn? Are you done both? Probably girl. Anyway, this was this was Hello, Marilyn. Nice to see you. Are you alright, Stanley? She sent a check. Okay. Hi, George. George Block.